Good morning, happy Thursday. If you're new here, my name is Candy. I'm a mom to five. On my channel, I share a lot of homeschooling, homesteading, gardening, day in the life, what's for dinner, canning, grocery hauls, um, all kinds of fun stuff. If you like any of those types of videos, I would love if you would subscribe, stick around, check out some more after this one. If you're coming back from other videos, welcome back. So it is Thursday morning, we are at speech therapy. The kids are almost done. And then um, we are gonna head home. We have chores to do, animals to take care of, um, schoolwork to do. Then we need to have lunch. And then I need to take Mika to her ortho appointment. She broke her hand the other day. Um, just somewhere in here, she snapped something. Well, she didn't do it. She was playing with her little sister and her sister fell on her hand and snapped something. So she's in a splint. That's what the urgent care put on her hand. And we're gonna find out if she can do with just a brace or if she's gonna need a cast or kind of where we are with all of that because we're not real sure the extent of the injury. They, they did x-ray it at the urgent care. Um, the x-ray tech said he didn't think it was broken. The doctor said that the gap was like four times bigger in that area than it is in the rest of the hand, all the other um, growth plates. And so he thought something had been snapped in the growth plate. And so she's gonna need um, a better imaging than an x-ray, but we're gonna go see the ortho, see what she thinks. Uh, the same urgent care told her there was nothing wrong with her pelvis when we went back there three or four times and we finally got into the ortho for an appointment and um, and that was with a lot of force on my part because they kept saying she didn't need to see the ortho because there was nothing wrong with her and she could barely walk but we got in with the ortho on that they did better imaging than an x-ray and were able to tell us that her pelvis had in fact been snapped and so she had to be on crutches for a while. Um, but all that to say, that's not that's also not the first time. She has had several breaks where they've told us there was nothing wrong on the x-ray. We went to the ortho, had different imaging, and found out she had pretty severe breaks. I mean, it, it was not as obvious as like a flat out snapped bone, but there was breaks. And so, I don't have a lot of faith in the x-rays that they do there, but at the same time, we don't have a lot of options in our area for urgent cares and ERs. So um, that's kind of why we end up always going to the ortho when she injures herself. She very frequently breaks bones. She actually has testing coming up um, for brittle bone disease. We've been waiting for genetics for quite a while and we are finally coming up on that just because we need to know what's going on. I mean, I have five kids and Penny did break her hand once, but her brother had stepped on her hand on the trampoline and broke just something in there. Um, and she was able, it was a small enough break. She was able to just wear a brace, but Mika, Mika's over a dozen breaks. And I mean, like when her sister fell on her the other day, she literally had lost her balance and she put her hand on top of her sister's hand and pushed herself back upright. And that's what broke her hand, was just her sister's hand pushing on hers. So there's something definitely going on. Um, maybe it is or isn't brittle bone disease. We really don't know, but that's something that um, one of her doctors said that we needed to find out and rule out. So hopefully we'll do that soon. I mean, our appointment's coming up in November, but it just feels like we've been waiting for like 14 months and so it feels like it's been forever the wait but I don't know it's just it's hard sorry there is a lot of loud trucks going by this morning um it's hard to sit and watch somebody get hurt over and over and know that there's not much you can do about it because it just keeps happening I mean obviously I can't bubble wrap my child and I have family members who keep telling me she shouldn't be allowed to play outside. She shouldn't be allowed to play with her siblings. She should have to sit. And as much as I would like her to stop getting hurt, I also feel like she won't have any quality of life if 
if she's forced to do nothing. I mean, I've had the same people tell me that because she has arthritis, that she shouldn't be allowed to run. She shouldn't be allowed to play. But she is a 12-year-old girl, and she's she was diagnosed with um, a positive test for arthritis when she was two. And if, if for the past 10 years she's been allowed to do nothing but sit on a couch, she would be a very depressed child. And I, I'm not taking my child, my daughter's childhood away. Um, that being said, it's also, it's a hard line to walk of knowing, like, I don't know. It's hard because you want to tell her she can do anything she wants to do. But at the same time, how do you tell a child, you know, do whatever you want as far as running and playing and doing these things, but at the same time, tell them to not hurt themselves. And a child who hurts themselves constantly like her, it's just, it's hard. I mean, I don't know how else to word this because it's such, such a hard thing for me. Um, but I, I, she has a lot of, um, depression issues as far as her arthritis and she constantly tells me she's never going to have kids because she doesn't want her kids to be like her. And it's, it's hard. It's hard to hear your child feels that way because she feels like her body's failing her. So anyways, um, all, all of this to say, she has genetic testing coming up. She has the ortho today to find out about her hand. So we have to get busy this morning, get everything done so that in time for her ortho appointment, um, we won't be late for all that. But um, <clears throat> then this afternoon, I think we are going to have some major downtime because we've been so busy this week. And I think we are going to find a movie. I think I DVR'd a movie last night. Before I went to bed, I think I hit record on something. So maybe we'll watch that and... Um, get some blankets and pillows out, have some popcorn, maybe take some naps while we, and watch movies. And well, they watch movie, I nap. That's how we do movie time usually. Um, I never stay awake to watch movies. So they will watch a movie. I will nap and regroup in time to make dinner. I'm going to do soup for dinner tonight. I have out some ground beef, um, some beef broth, some mixed vegetables. I have mushrooms out. I have some alphabet pasta. I'm going to throw together some soup in the slow cooker later, brown the beef and all that. So we can um, have soup tonight, keep it easy. I really like the simplicity of doing soups and it's cloudy and we have like a 60% chance of rain today. So hopefully if it rains, we'll have a nice soup and go to bed early and enjoy a nice peaceful sleep in the rain. Um, that's kind of my thoughts on today. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to go inside and see if they're about done. They should be. And I do like to talk to their speech therapist, um, after each session and kind of see how they're doing, see if they're still improving, see if one of my children that likes to be sassy and, um, cheat at their games they play during speech therapy is behaving himself. So anyways, I'm going to get inside and check on them and then we are going to get this day going. We have had so much rain that all my weeding has been pointless, but we need this rain. We are in a major drought. Anyways, I came out here to pick some squash to throw in my soup. So I'm going to get over here and do that. But, oh, my um, radishes came up. Looks like I need to pick okra. one. I wanted zucchini, but I'll take yellow squash. Let's see. Let's see another one. These weeds are ridiculous. 
Yep, there's another. There is a zucchini. Let's see if I can get that thing off. It has a really strong vine on it. Okay, so we got a zucchini. Uh-oh, I see a huge zucchini. This is what happens when you don't pick the garden for a couple days. Okay. So we got three yellow squash and two zucchini. So it turns out I really needed to pick some stuff. I'll show you guys everything inside. There is still a lot more that needs picked, but I'm soaked and I'm slightly um, suffocating with my apron. So I picked what I could and now I'm going in. Okay, I'm throwing together some alphabet soup for dinner. So I have browned ground beef, and then I have some mushrooms that I had had in the freezer, a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I cut up a whole zucchini, half an onion, put it all in there. Now I'm just adding some seasoning I picked up from Crow's. It's basically like some Italian seasonings. And now I'm adding my tomatoes. I added a full quart of crushed tomatoes that I had had in the cabinet from some I canned and now I'm going to add two containers of beef broth. I'm going to add one, give it a good stir, and then I'll add the second one and give it a stir. I'm going to let this cook on high for four hours and then I will change the setting over to boil and add our alphabet noodles and that'll be our dinner tonight. lunch today we're just all having some cup of noodles and CJ and I have kimchi in ours here is our finished soup I just brought it up to a boil and now I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of alphabet noodles into here these are 39 cents at my local store so it is a really good price for these and I'm not even using maybe a third of the bag so we will have more left for another meal We're out of bread, so instead of doing grilled cheese with our soup, we are going to do some quesadillas. But Bubba has gotten out some Halloween cookie cutters, and he cut everybody out some fun shapes to make their quesadillas. And then I just used the leftover pieces and made me some triangles and did my quesadillas like that. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below. And I would love to chat with you guys. I'll see you guys soon with another new video. Bye.